by talking about my microscopes. Micro means small and scope means viewing or something to look through or observe. So microscope means to view small things. Kind of makes sense, right? So my first two microscopes here are actually the same type of microscope. They're called compound microscopes. We at school call them light microscopes. And they work by a little light coming up through the bottom, shining through the stage and then up through here, and then you can see through the object. So obviously it's not going to work with a rock or something like that. If I switch this light on here, you'll see the light come on and it works with clear things. Like if I want to peel a bit of onion skin off and look at the cells on the onion skin, that works well. If I want to go to the pond and get some water and look at the little protists that are swimming around in there, then this works really well. It even works well for some of my sand samples to shine light through them. Like some of the girls from school found me some green sand in Fiji and when you shine the light through those crystals, they're all green. Oh, beautiful. Um, so this is one I bought myself. My dad actually gave me this one here. He's a doctor and he had this when he was at college many, many years ago because he's super old now. And he gave me this microscope and I love it. It's really good, made in Japan, very heavy. But the problem with it is because it's upright like this, it hurts your back when you're looking over it all day long. So this one here, you can see it's angled out towards the front. It also has a rotating head, which helps a lot too. So I have actually stolen some lenses from this one and put them into that one. I've got a bit of a mix going on. And then once I had these for a little while, I started thinking about the fact that I actually kind of like one that could see bigger objects. Things that I could put a rock under, I could put a beetle under and have a look at what they look like. You can't do that on here because there's not very much room between the stage and the lenses. And that's why I ended up getting this microscope here, which is a stereo microscope. And straight away you can see some differences. You can see two eyepieces here that you can look through. I haven't used this yet, but you can attach a camera into this, which is fantastic. Uh, you can also shine the light from above on this one, which makes it really different. There's a couple of reasons why this is good. One is because the light's coming above the object so you can see what the surface looks like. But the second thing is that it makes the colour really good. And the colour in these microscopes isn't so good. So this one has been really beautiful for my sand, and I'll show you some pictures of that coming up next week. Also, it's good for beetle skin, feathers, insects that I find outside, leaves, all that kind of stuff, really good under here. So all those little bits and pieces that you've been collecting and dead things you've been leaving in my classroom, this is where I check those out at my home. Parents, for any parents out there watching this, this could be the best $5 you ever spend on your kid. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm a little bit biased. So, this here is from Kmart, and I'm not making money off this. Uh, it's five bucks. It's called a smartphone microscope converter. And when you pull these little things on the side, it opens up in the middle and a light comes on. I think you can probably see that. The coolest thing about these is you can have them in your home and you can slide them onto the camera of your phone or your iPad. So I'm gonna show you now. Here's my phone. I'm gonna slide it over my camera so that I can see the little camera peering at me through that hole. And then you go and you open up your camera on the phone. So there it is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But then I put my finger behind it. You've got to touch it on things. And then you can take a photograph up close. I'll just get it to focus. Of things under the microscope. It's really cool when you do things like your jeans. And your hair and that kind of stuff. Now. This is how I first discovered that fingerprint, you have little sweat glands all over your fingers and your fingerprints. It's so gross. If you can get one of these, they're fantastic. Today I want to talk to you about a little creature called an aphid. And I've drawn another very quality picture here. Aphids. There they are. They look a little bit like a round green circle on a leaf and they actually suck the sap out of the leaf. But here is a story that I want to tell you because I have now seen this on camera just a couple of days ago. I've been so super excited about this. So aphids drink the sap from leaves on plants and there's this really funny little relationship that they have with ants. So ants, you all know what they look like farm aphids. It's like they're little farmer ants and they have a flock of aphids. They actually are known to take aphids out onto a leaf and put them there and then carry them to new places if they're in danger. They fight off predators, they protect these little aphids. 
And in return, they actually come along with their antenna and they kind of like massage the little aphid's abdomens, which is a bit like their butt, and out of the back of the aphid comes a little drop of sugary, sugary, sappy, kind of watery stuff that the ants can eat. So these two creatures live together and they both benefit. So the aphids get protection from things like ladybirds and things that want to eat them, and they get carried around to different parts of healthy plants. And the ants get the sugary secretions from the backside of an aphid. <laughs> this is so awesome. I heard about this years ago. But the exciting moment happened when, this week I went out to my garden to show the grade ones and twos and preps about things in the garden, and I found a bunch of aphids with ants crawling all over them. And I brought them inside, and I had a look at them under the microscope. Now, I can hardly contain my excitement because I had heard about this ant aphid thing for lots of years, but I, of course I'd never seen it. I'd seen it in videos on the internet and Dave Rattenborough documentaries and things. But on this particular day, when I put the leaf under the microscope, I saw ants farming aphids. <coughs> so exciting. And I recorded it for you through my phone. So you're gonna get to see it very soon. my family who are science geeks like me and we were all just as excited as each other and then my dad saw the funniest thing happening in the video that I hadn't actually noticed the first 20 times I watched it if you have a look on the left side of the screen in this video there's a little aphid with a ball of dewy stuff coming out of its abdomen <laughs> just have a look at this it's hilarious my dad has made it into a little movie for you thanks dad here it is Thank you. 